So welcome to today's Friday Coffee Cast. And of course, the intention with Fridays is to share something that's perhaps a little more light-hearted to, at the same time though, uh, see if we can't draw out some vital lessons for life. And last week, uh, I shared my life lessons from my time as a fake pole dancing teacher. So if you haven't uh, yet checked out the Greater Life coffee cast for Friday of last week um, and you would like to hear about my experiences as a pole dancing teacher or not, as the case may be, then uh, definitely go and check that one out. Today, here is my invitation that whether we're talking about the world of dating, whether we are talking about the world of business, whether we are talking about the world of your health, your happiness, there is a principle that is going to serve you across the board. It is the following. Dictate the terms. I left the, there was a bit of a gap there, didn't I? Uh, that was not intentional. Uh, put far too much dick into that. Um, <laughs> dictate the terms. Now, what on earth am I talking about here? Well, so often in business particularly, and particularly in dating, the other is seen as the prize. So, like, if you're in business, like, the customer is the prize. And if you're dating, like, oh, finally I found a man or a woman who wants to be with me, right? And they're the prize. And as I know from my own experiences all too well in the past, that it can be very easy to compromise things that are really important in the hope of winning the prize. Be that winning the customer and perhaps dropping your prices too low to the point where things are unsustainable or in a relationship compromising your values just to be assured of some connection. So what is the antidote to this? It is the idea of dictating the terms. And the fact that you are listening to this right now is evidence of that. See, I know that my best ways of being able to add value to your life are not necessarily always going to be in one minute YouTube shorts or reels. So my question is, when could I find a moment in your day where you and I could share a moment like this? And the answer was in the morning as you make your coffee. Hence, the Greater Life Coffee Cast. So, I am on some levels dictating the terms that say, here is how I am going to offer content, yet I am also in some ways trying to make it easy to meet you by saying, here is the slot in your day that is most appropriate, potentially, to listen to and enjoy this content, okay? I am dictating the terms that say these podcasts will not be one minute long, all right? Now, similarly for yourself, if you are currently single, my question is, to what extent are you willing to dictate the terms on which someone engages with you? And we had an example within our community where uh, I looked across the profile of one of our community members And just suggested a couple of very clear tweaks. And she said, well, wouldn't that, you know, wouldn't that put people off? And I said, yes, it will. That's exactly the point. Because do you want people who are not actually aware of the terms that we very deliberately used? We use some very specific terms. Um, And she was like, no, no, actually, yeah, like, if they know those terms, then I know I've got a much higher percentage of them being the kind of person that I want to engage with. Fantastic. So in her willingness to dictate the terms, she then enhances her chances of finding a match that is not just compatible, but awesome. And the deeper lesson, particularly for business here, is that it goes perhaps even a level further than just dictate the terms. Actually, those businesses who are most successful are the ones who, in some way, shape or form, train their customers how to consume what they offer. And we look at Apple are a great example of this. Like, there's a reason why people are queuing 
outside the Apple stores for Apple's latest products, or that they did back in the day, right? Is because Apple, with their, you know, super um, showy launches, you know, built this hype. They kind of trained people to get hyped up. And then they actually said, oh, well, there's only going to be so many. So if you want it, you're going to have to be, you know, going to have to get in the queue sort of thing, right? So Apple were training their customers how to consume and engage with them as a company. So for you, what might this look like if you genuinely dictated the terms? Dictated the terms across the areas of your life where it mattered most. Perhaps dating, perhaps business, but perhaps also with yourself in terms of your health. Actually to say, no, here is how we are going to roll. Here is what is going to happen on a morning. Here is what is going to happen when it comes to meals. Okay. So that is my, that's my question for the weekend perhaps is what might be different? How might things look if you began more to dictate the terms? And there are some clear takeaways for this. In your business, could you, instead of always being at the beck and call of your customers on the phone, actually have a sales system that was far more automated, whereby you made videos of you having the core elements of the conversations you most often have and say, Hey, thank you so much for, uh, you know, uh, your inquiry. Here's how we typically engage with the people we help most. Uh, they watch this series of videos and that sets them up to really know whether what we offer is going to be a good fit. And at that point, um, typically you may have one or two questions. And once you watch those videos, we can then jump on a call and answer those questions and see if it's a fit to move forward. So the advantages of this are twofold. In a video, you get to show up as the best version of yourself, not stumbling over your words or, you know, not having like distractions and noises in the background that might undermine the clarity of the call. And you don't have to be there. You could literally be having a, the start of a sales conversation that converts a customer with you while you're asleep. And they're simply watching these videos uh, and walking through the system that you are, uh, you're training them to engage with, that you are dictating the terms of. OK, so a little example there for you in terms of what this dictate the terms and train your customers might look like. And so how could this principle dictate the terms and train your customers? How might that apply to not just your business, but your life? All right. Have a great weekend. See you tomorrow.